Hey everybody, today we have a Shimano Bait Runner 12000D. It needs a bail repair or bail replace, uh, but that's not why we're doing this video. This is stuck, and we got to figure out why. So let's do that and see what's inside. So let's see if we can remove these things. Or if I have to soak these into the top one. That come on. That's good. Oh, I didn't show you that it just doesn't move at all. I'm not gonna force it too much. But obviously there's something going on inside why this can't move might be something as simple as a spring loose and caught somewhere or maybe something more nefarious <coughs> It's all frozen. <coughs> yeah, I think we have to soak this for a little bit just in case. Yeah, let me soak this for a little bit and then I will uh, come back to you. Okay, so we got it open or got this removed. <coughs> So let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, the the side plate for some reason was uh, just difficult to come off. Um, I'm not sure if it was because it was stuck to the bearing or what else. Uh, but it's graphite, so it shouldn't have been much of an issue. But it was difficult right in this area to remove. Um, I put some uh, corrosion X on here. <coughs> So it could either be the lever shaft, this thing here, or it could be something in the mechanism down there that I can't see yet until I remove this. So I'm gonna pause the camera, let this kind of soak for a little bit, um, get this removed, and then see if there's anything else down there that might be an issue. All right, so here's what I did. Um, I did the screws already on this, but I just turned it with this <coughs> and it turns so it's got to be careful because I have the screws out so we know it can work but it's like it's very tight so I'm gonna work that in using this uh, hopefully loosen up any kind of uh, along with the oil and loosen up any kind of corrosion that's in there all right I'll be back again okay so here's where we're at Took everything out um, got that plate taken off of this and I just kind of sprayed it with some oil and it's been working it back and forth if that doesn't work then I'm going to remove the shaft here but it's feeling pretty good I'm gonna remove this kind of clean that up a little bit and see if that helps we have to remove that plate down there to get it out right now we'll see if this works all right so that's the status okay so that feels really good a lot of play in it which is good so we don't have any kind of stuck situation going on or expansion or corrosion kind of filling up spaces in there so we're gonna clean this all up um, get it all greased up again uh, and then we'll put it together and see how it works 
Okay, so I'll put all the stuff together after I clean and regrease it, and then we'll see if that actually solved the problem. Okay, so let's try it out. Excellent. All right, so we figured out how to fix this uh, this particular situation. I hope, hope to help someone. <clears throat> uh, if you liked what you saw, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel. Be sure to hit the like button, uh, hit the bell notification so you see any new updates or uploads that I put up. Tell your friends about the channel. I think I said that already. Uh, and please make comments if, if you'd like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.